So the first series of exercises we're going to go to are all medicine ball exercises, and we use these to develop a dynamic warm-up to prepare the muscles, ligaments, and tendons for the exercises later that will build strength. Uh, we also use these exercises to develop the fundamental movement skills you'll need to translate into your running that help with injury prevention and also help necessary mobility you need in the joints to do so. Typically we use a medicine ball as two to three kilos and the weight of the ball is not really a key issue. Whichever feels comfortable allows you to develop the technique and skill that we're going to go through. So the first exercise we're going to teach is a medicine ball chop. And the main purpose of this is to develop the muscles in the back chain of the body, so your glutes, hamstrings, calves, and also to learn proper spine position for lifting. So if you go down, we're going to turn the feet to 12 o'clock. And at 12 o'clock, keep the back nice and tight, full extension then hips, knees, and stable core at the top. And again, I'll repeat the sequence. And we go on to complete 10 reps of this. Okay, the next exercise is the medicine ball squat. We use the squat to develop hip mobility, knee, ankle control as well. Um, we encourage you that you must keep the spine straight as you do this, and we're gonna watch the foot position as a key thing. So we'll start with the feet going to 11 o'clock and one o'clock, and then you're gonna keep the ball close to your chest, and you basically descend down into a squat, but keep your knees aligned over your toes, push the ball out, nice chest up position, stand up and bring the ball back into your shoulder blades, go back and down, and repeat again, and the knees track over the feet. Okay, I'm back. Good, one more. And good. The next exercise is the medicine ball reverse lunge, and we're gonna use this to develop your control again in the pelvis where you flex one hip and extend the other trail leg at the back. It's vital that if you have a history of any kind of knee pain at the front of your knee prior to this, you just be a bit cautious to start this exercise off, okay? So we're going to get very easy to demonstrate, and we're going to do this by stepping backwards into a lunge, reach the ball overhead, nice tight core here, and develop extension on this back hip, step up into the finish of your running stance, and then you change legs and step backwards with the left leg. Again, good hip extension on the left leg this time, tight core, step up, and you finish with full hip extension on the right side. That's good. And this completes the exercise for the dynamic warm-up for your program today. And you complete each exercise for 10 repetitions and complete three sets. And the next exercise is the kettlebell deadlift. And we're going to use this to strengthen glutes, hamstrings, and your low back to finish up in the hip extension phase and knee extension phase you see at the end of your stride and running. Um, so we're going to use the kettlebell and we're going to walk forward. And the feet go to 12 o'clock. You're going to bow forward towards the kettlebell and hold. Keep the back nice and straight and the shoulder blades, the midpoint of your shoulder blades should be directly over the weight you're going to lift. You extend the knees and hips, squeezing the glute, tight core, finish a really tall upright posture and then bow forward, back forward, the exact same path you took on the way up. So if we do two more, so drive up, squeeze the hips, so extend, shoulders back and bow forward. So we're using a step here for limited range of motion. And as your mobility improves, you can take the step away and lower this from the floor and all the way up. Make sure that you do so the back stays straight the whole way through. It's a great exercise for strengthening your back, but it's also a good way to wreck it if you do it with poor technique. The next exercise is the band punch. We're going to do this in a running stance with your leg, one leg slightly from forward the other in a stagger position. I'm going to use it to transfer the push strength and core strength we developed from the floor and the push-up and core draw, transfer it up into the same position you're going to be running on, and necessarily benefits that improving run economy. Okay, so if you come forward into a staggered stance, one leg forward, good posture, head upright, and then you press forward and backwards using the band. Make sure there's no movement in your spine happens while you're doing this. You do four, like four or five, and then we change legs for me. So right leg leads. So press ahead again, stable core, keep tight, two, three, one more, and four, and that's it, and last. So the next exercise is a single leg bridge, which is a progression of the previous glute bridge exercise we did. You're going to take up the same position, and the focus now is on one leg, so there's more pelvic stability and control involved in this versus the previous exercise. So you take the same position of feet 12 o'clock. We're going to bring the right leg up to your tummy and you're going to hold it there to keep your back nice and straight. It stays there the entire time while you complete the left leg exercise. Lower the pelvis back down to the floor and then raise it up again, squeezing your hip as you do so. And down. So we'll do two more. 
and lift, fully extend from your hip. And then last one. And down, and rest, and that's it. The next exercise is a split squat. So we're gonna use this to develop more strength into the lunging pattern or reverse lunge we use in the medicine ball warm up. Um, as you progress this on, we're gonna start off with the rear leg or trail leg on the floor. As you get more advanced, you can raise the rear leg up by putting it up on a step in the rear. This puts more emphasis on strengthening the front leg, okay? So you're gonna start into the lunge position and then extend and raise up. Keep the spine straight and aligned. The hips are, are lined up with the shoulders too. Lower back down to the knee goes towards the floor and then back up again. Again, like we said before, if you find that you have any problems with the anterior, like front of the kneecap pain, you should be cautious about introducing these type of exercises in, allow the tissues to develop slowly. You do the same on both sides. The next exercise is a side bridge. We're gonna use this to develop strength in the obliques and hip abductors, which are vital for preventing injuries in the round lumbar spine, hip, knee, and ankle while you're running. So we're gonna use this, come over onto your elbow, onto the side, and the key issue is you've got to keep the shoulder and hip in the same alignment horizontally. And you hold that for up to 10 seconds and then relax and then you repeat that on the other side. The next exercise is the cable chop and lift from the floor. And we're going to do this in a lunge stance. And the idea is you're going to have to move the cable up and out in a diagonal pattern but no movement happening from the trunk. Okay? You keep the rear trail leg extended and assume the lunge position and we're going to pull the cable around up and out across the body, keeping the, so that the only thing moving is the arms in that diagonal pattern. Three, two more, four, and five. So you're going to do that with the inside knee on the floor and simply you'll turn around and exchange and put reverse the direction. And these are the strength exercises for your workout today. You'll complete each exercise for 10 repetitions and then complete three sets. And for the side bridge, you'll hold that for 10 seconds in each position, left and right, and then complete that for three sets.